Hello, Canada. I'm in you. Yes, I'm in you. Oh, I'm going to a car show. I spent nearly four hours last night detailing my car. And I just drove through some rain. <laughs> oh my god, that is so depressing, guys. I brought detailing stuff with me, but I hope this is the only rain I go through and it dries out by the time I get to Montreal. And all I have to do is just uh, clean the windows, clean the bugs off, and uh, you know, put some uh, quick detailing spray on here because this is terrible. So sad. Well, we're in uh, Montreal. I've been trying to find a grocery store for a while. I've got to say, Montreal, I've driven in like 10 different countries and Montreal it has and I'm not this isn't an exaggeration at all oh by the way it's raining Montreal has the worst roads how's the carbon bit of one exhaust pipes that's not bad Montreal has the worst roads I've ever ever experienced on a grocery store that, that's not even an exaggeration that's not a joke right now I promise you the worst roads, rainbow, double rainbow all the way across the sky. Worst roads I've ever been on ever in my entire life. I gotta say though, post Montreal, uh, you know, the, the beautiful sky, post rain Montreal is very nice. I'm definitely in the, yeah? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not really from here, so oh, I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, sorry. You. So, yeah, I'm definitely in a more rural part of town. I see lots of kids on skateboards. I did um, I got some very Canadian foods. So now, the reason why I stopped for groceries now is because uh, I got on the highway to head towards my place I'm staying from the, uh, the gas station and you see there's my coffee here <laughs> and the, um, the traffic is atrocious so let's hope to get to the place we're staying efficiently so this is my Airbnb it's like in the middle of nowhere on a lake Pretty exciting, actually. That didn't sound good. So as a kid, we never had summer vacation. <laughs> and if you want to know what uh, 160 Canadian uh, gets you for two nights uh, by a lake, this is a um, ping pong, but also there's a pool table under here. There's a television with a VHS. That I'm guessing if you watch it, you die in 10 days. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's a Steve Martin film called House Sitter. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got our, uh, yeah, the power was of course off. I had to turn it on the manual way here. Um, you can see I came here with my coffee gear, my electronics, clothes, food, and alcohol. We've got, uh, we're always sleeping on, close this off. Because I don't want any bugs getting in here. So when I actually go in here, I want it to be bug freer. Unless you want to count the floor there. So, yeah, it's currently 70 degrees in here, which is it's fine. That would be fine. Uh, oh, we got a collection of DVDs here. Uh, oh, why is it focusing? There we go. Oh, the complete second season of Joey, but they don't have the first season. <laughs> All right. Well, it's 10 o'clock, by the way. So I went and when, I, when I'm in another country, I generally grab the essentials. So uh, I grabbed this thinking I would be here a lot earlier, but that's not gonna happen. I gotta be up at 6 a.m. to clean my car and go to uh, the uh, event. So I've got a um, oh, pizza here. It has um, mascarpone, flatbread, and figs. 
I've got some um, basmati rice. Uh, not so fresh cheese curds, but they're good enough. Um, this is the baguette. It's spicy. It has turkey and pear, mayo, cheddar cheese. And on special, um, uh, so what I'm going to do for all of your viewing pleasure, I'm going to take my glass here. This is the uh, one that came with the house. It's the uh, the Great Canadian Shoot. Nice hockey jokes. <laughs> and uh, we're going to, I think this is rye actually, not bourbon. Let's see. Yeah, it's High West rye. We're going to sip it. Hello. I'm going to sip that, get my stuff away, get my coffee stuff ready for the morning. Flatbread goes in the oven, and then I'm going to, tomorrow I get up at 6 a.m. because I need to, um, it's a 20 mile drive, 20 minute drive to, uh, to ICAR for the Eurocracy event, but for the show and shine people, which I'm in, um, I've got to be there, I think they said at 7.30 to, uh, to get into the show and shine booth so I can uh, be judged. Yeah. Let's get some food, get some sleep. I'll get some writing done and some sleep. And then tomorrow we go to Eurocracy. Yay! It really is hot as hell in here. <laughs> so there's our dinner. Got some Swiss on flatbread, and we got some whiskey and some rice. It is definitely cooler than it was, um, than it was last night. Oh boy. Oh, that's our next door neighbor. Yeah, you should imagine how creepy this place is. Not only is it like in the middle of nowhere, we've got this set of swings over here. They're moving ever so slightly. Oh, the car probably needs a full like detailing. But um, it's dirty. Lots of pollen. It's quiet up here. Very very quiet. Um, pro tip for you guys when you're traveling always have some uh, vitamin C in the morning before you go out and meet people that have different diseases or viruses than you uh, aspirin because my freaking knees are all swollen for some reason Claritin because it's pollen season um, one thing I don't like doing is mixing coffee so I've got the single origin Uganda that I bought in uh, New York a few weeks ago and then we've got um, Honduras. I mean, I don't know politically how the um, the Ugandans and the Hondurans are doing uh, as far as you know coexisting, uh, you know, thousands of miles apart. But um, I also usually do like um, 700 grams of uh, water and. Um, 39 to 40 grams of coffee, but today I just uh, I don't have enough time to drink 20 ounces of, of coffee. So, this will have to do. I wish that I could um, illustrate for you guys how wonderful this smells. Here the show and shine area. I think I have a chance, guys. I think I think I got this one in the bag. <laughs> so bag, 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 bag,
<laughs> so maybe I get an A for 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 being original. <laughs> I mean, I spent two hours uh, shining her up. There's a couple spots right there, but I'll get those in a minute. She is shiny. She is uh, detailed. A little carnauba wax topping. I think it looks freaking beautiful. Those wheels took like an hour by themselves to clean. Everything is ready for the car show. Only thing is, I think I'm like three inches too tall off the ground. The car was just judged. I think it looks pretty good today. But uh, get rid of these guys. The, uh, the, one of the judges said, your, uh, your car is not lower than gigantic wheels. How am I going to judge it? <laughs> so. That's basically what it is up here, lowered with gigantic wheels. I told him it's a track car. I told him kind of what I've done to it so far. I pointed all the engine stuff, and he says uh, it's impressive. But uh, so much has been done to it. And uh, good luck. So. <laughs> Mercedes wagon. I'm the only guy here that's wearing a helmet. So everyone keeps laughing at me. But uh, the last time I heard I'm supposed to wear a helmet when I go to the track, but I'm running faster than a 1399. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, we shall we will see how it goes. Number one, I'm, on, I'm 96. I don't know why it says I'm the winner. He was faster than me. I don't know. That's an interesting one. And then uh, this is my second run. And you'll see that uh, first time was 111 at 12 seconds. And this one was uh, 110 at uh, 12.4. It's just, I mean, it's 90 degrees outside right now. So that's what's going on. But, uh, 
I left the hood open for a few minutes to let things air out. I just bought a, uh, for $30, a 10 minute track time. I brought my own helmet, which I thought was kind of impressive. <laughs> People when I was drag racing were looking at me weird and you know, I'm just trying to be safe. Uh, this is the first time I've used the lap timer in the uh, center console here. So let's see how that goes. But uh, yeah, this is the iCar area. Out and we're going to uh, we're going to give it a run. We're going to try this out too. At 90 degrees, we're going to see how hot this oil gets over the course of 10 minutes. It's going to be a little ridiculous. Thank you. I got a, I got a Mark 7 GTI. What do you have? What do you have done for this? That was really interesting. So while my coolant and my oil temps um, recovered really fast, uh, the turbo is extremely hot, and the brakes, the brakes are totally smoking. Well, I've actually never felt my tires as hot before. Got a little bit of smoke in here. I'm not actually quite sure what it is, to be honest. It looks like one of the cables or the plastic. Look at the plastic itself is like melting. I don't know. Or maybe it's just coming out from the brakes. I mean, these tires, wow. Very, very, very hot. I'm gonna move out of people's way here and go park and let it cool down for a little bit. I just got back from beer tasting with my friends and some double barrel Peche Mortel and some top 50 ice cider to rate. Uh, we're in Montreal. I'm gonna get some food before they'll drive back to La Chute where I am staying this weekend. Thought it'd be interesting to check uh, the tread depth of my tires. But as I approached my car, uh, I was greeted with a surprise, I guess. I don't think this happened before I left. But I guess while I was sitting here, some bird like tried to perch. And I had this really wonderful perch in the front of my car. Got this awesome shop. I got a uh, citron and crumbois sorbet. No, no, I, yeah, yeah, I was gonna get the cassis, but uh, the cassis and crumbois would be too acidic. It's a little open market here in uh, Montreal. 
and I'm going to read for a few minutes before I head back to the shoot. Well, there is some good news for this trip. I've passed 18,000 miles, um, which is awesome. So 18,000 miles on the golf R. Very exciting day.